with the news items, we always like to do some public service announcements. Yes. Uh, some key information that we like to put right up front because it might affect you. Uh, we got several of these today, Blunty. Um, where do you want to start? Well, uh, our first PSA is going to be about flight controller issues. Um, so there's something flight controller manufacturers should be aware of. And if you work for one or you know people who manufacture flight controllers um, or, you know, whoever's watching this, uh, know this. Um, basically, uh, you need to um, add two resistors onto your USB-C port. Hmm. Um, and, and two resistors added to your USB-C port will allow bidirectional communication. So um, if you scroll down to uh, page 11. Page 11? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see oh. the, 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 the guide here. Mm -hmm. And it shows for DFP, UFP, right? So we got a oh, downstream okay. and upstream uh, oh. for the ports. And so if you put these two resistors, one on CC2 and one on CC1, then uh -huh. the cable can actually tell which direction it's flipped when you're using USB-C PD. Um, and you can use a USB-C to USB-C cable in cases where you normally couldn't. So some yeah. flight controllers people will use, and they'll find that like, hey, I'm plugging my USB-C cable in, and my other USB-C cable side is going into my computer, and it's not working. And that's yeah, because... This affects, uh, yeah. When I first heard about this, I thought, who does this really affect? Because I've never had this happen. And this affects yeah. a very specific set of people, but it's going to affect more and more people as time goes on. If you have a USB-C port on your computer, so if you use USB-A, like I, I've all, well, my computers are mostly USB-A, it doesn't affect you. But if you have a USB-C port and it supports U, high power USB, like a MacBook yeah, that can be charged. Yeah. Yeah, USB-C PD. Yeah, power, like PD, the power delivery standard. Like all these newer, like ultralight lap, laptops that can be charged over USB, right? Yeah. Those, if you don't put, if the flight controller manufacturers don't do this, then it doesn't work. Like the cable only works one way or it doesn't work at all? Uh, it, if you have a normal USB-C to USB-C cable, it won't work at all. And you have to use a USB-A to USB-C or you have to use, you can use, a, like if you only have USB-C on your computer, mm -hmm. you can plug in uh, a USB-A to C adapter. So you can go like C to A to A to C and that will give it directionality. I see. But yeah. if, the if the flight controller manufacturers just added these two little resistors, which probably cost, you know, three tenths of a cent or something ridiculous, yeah. then it would work correctly. Yeah, then it can just, it can tell which, where the resistors are with the sense, and then it'll uh, decide the direction. So, okay. Cool. So we're doing a shout out here to the manufacturers of flight controllers to say, can y'all start doing this? Yeah. And we're also doing a shout out if you have like a MacBook or one of these laptops with these USB-C ports and you're like, why won't beta flight work? Ah, this is why. Yeah. And the fix yeah. is to get a USB-A adapter for your USB-C. Ah, well, if we use like a yeah. USB hub, would it work? Yeah, I believe anything that gives directionality. So anything that okay. like denotes one direction only. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mr. Huggy points out that many phones will have this issue. If you've got a yeah. cell phone and you're trying to plug USB in directly and it won't work, this may be why. So I think an I think an on the go adapter will also work because it gives directionality. I can't I'm confirm. Not 100 sure. Okay. Can confirm. Um, and in addition, on some phones, like on my phone, uh, there's a US. There's an option in the menu that lets you pick what mode it's in. And sometimes okay. that seems. I mean, my phone it's a Galaxy S20, and my S10 also worked just by plugging in a USB C cable. It, I never had a problem. But maybe that was C to micro, not C to C. Well, anyway, yeah. the bottom line is if you have this problem, that's why and that's how to fix it. And flight controller manufacturers, we request, we humbly request yeah, that you start for, fixing this. For just pennies, you can fix this. So it seems like Less something than, everybody should add yeah. to their BOM. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good to know. Dan, thank you for running that down, by the way, Blunty. I think you did some original yeah. research to figure this out. Well, uh, I, so I was always helped by a bunch of people in the community who helped me gather information and put me in the right direction. So 